Hey YouTube, in this video I'm going to be doing a uh, noise test and power consumption overview and like kind of like a informative video to show you guys what power consumption looks like when doing a single Vega card benchmark test. So in my previous video I did crossfire to show guys what uh, A, power consumption looks like, B, what the noise profile sounds like at stock without modifying the fan curves. Basically, if you're someone who doesn't want to tweak your system, you just want to buy the thing, install it, get it up and running, out of the box, and start playing games. So that's what we did in the uh, previous video for Crossfire. In today's video, I'm going to only do a test where it uses the primary GPU, so the secondary one won't do anything. You go ahead and start the test. It's the same test that I did in the previous one. This is Final Fantasy XIV Stormblood Benchmark. It's a long benchmark, so it gives me a pretty good... Uh, indication of what the fan curve is like when it ramps up and then down and sustain loads. Alright, so this is the noise test. Alright, so I think that gives, that gives you guys an idea of the noise figure for a single card setup. Uh, I'm saying single card even though you guys uh, have, see there's two cards here. If you notice the second card is actually not doing any work uh, because I am running this test in borderless full screen mode so crossfire does not activate um, and you only use the primary card for the test. So the second card is quietly just sitting there and looking pretty, doing nothing. I can put my hand on it and I don't feel any heat. I mean, it's, it's a little bit warm, but you know, I can just keep my finger on here all day and it won't be uncomfortable at all. If I move my hand over to the primary card, ooh, I can feel a lot of heat on that polymer shroud. Yeah, that's a lot of heat. I mean, it's not unbearable. I can leave, if I want to, I can leave my finger on here. It's not going to burn it or anything, but I but it does feel a li slightly unpleasant to the touch because of all that waste heat going through that shroud. So, let's look at the power consumption here. And 570, 550, anywhere, I would say about like 560. 560 is probably a good average, depending on the scene. And this is for a single card setup. So, people wondering, yeah, you can technically run uh, a single Vega 64 off of an 850 watt power supply or even a 750 watt power supply. I personally, if you want to do a single Vega 64, I would say 850 would be the minimum, but you would want to run it in the, in the secondary power save BIOS, which is what I'm running, not the main one. If you want the main one, I'd probably go for a 1000 watt. Um, and then, as I showed in the previous video, you do pretty much need a 1200 watt as the minimum. Um, in my previous video where I did show, and you can see the fan is spinning down there on a 1200 watt unit, so that is quite a bit of power that it is using, and that's just a single card doing a lot of work. But someone did mention that uh, they recommend 1500 watt for Vega. I would say that's a pretty good assessment. Um, 1200 watt would be the minimum for a crossfire setup, but 1500 watt would probably be more ideal. So. Yeah, not really a good, uh, you know, if, in terms of efficiency, and if AMD wants to sell or wants to be back in the high-end uh, market for GPUs, they really need to prioritize power consumption for Navi uh, and per, per watt because if you think about OEMs like Dell and HP and Lenovo, if you wanted to buy a pre-built crossfire setup from one of those guys to them it would look very uh, challenging because the cooling required they would probably just throw in OEM blower style cards like this because they don't want to they don't want uh, okay we'll say like 700 watt excess waste heat because I know that some of it isn't even 
Like it's it's not all heat. But yeah, we'll say that a lot of waste heat being exhausted into the case if you have an AIB type of card or a custom cooled with axial fans. Uh, it's not very feasible from an OEM's point of view like Dell. So they would probably just use a blower style card like these. Uh, and, but they would have to have a very beefy power supply unit like 1200 watt. Or the absolute minimum 1000 watt. But as you saw in my previous video, that's not uh, good enough. So for long term sustainable use. So definitely, I hope you guys found this video interesting um, at the very least. Um, it certainly was an eye opener for me seeing, especially with the Crossfire results, with it going over a thousand watts while benchmarking from the wall. Um, so that's pretty insane, and that is on the PowerSafe BIOS. That isn't even on the standard BIOS. I think I'm, I'm just going to permanently run these in the, in the PowerSafe BIOS. So, yeah. Hope you guys found that video um, interesting. And AMD really needs to work on power consumption because this is why power consumption and energy efficiency is important. Because you don't want to see like a thousand watts draw from the wall from a kilowatt just to play a game. Seems pretty ridiculous. So, uh, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.